the sport. Yes. Not hockey. Police were not called out on this one. Hector Lizarraga, there you go, sorry Hector, is hoping to bring home a world championship someday. Tonight, the Fresno boxer was simply home to fight and climb to the top, he hopes. The opponent for the featherweight, Hector Lizarraga, was Pedro Mendoza. Lizarraga took a 12-bout win streak into the ring, and the fifth round, Hector had Pedro on the ropes right here. Then the card girl came out for the sixth round, but Mendoza did not. In fact, Pedro says, follow that card. See, it says it right there. <laughs> I think. The winner is the hometown boxer. Lizarraga. Three or four more fights, I'm going to be ready to fight for a world title. Not just fight for it, but win it? Yeah, win it. I'm going to stop. Like I said, I'm going to bring it here to Fresno. I'm going to be the second champion. All right, go for it, Hector. Meantime, life after the Sugar Ray draw continues for Thomas Hearns. Tonight, a fight with Kemper Morton. Second round. Kemper goes down. See ya. Hearns wins easily in L.A. Hearns next step, fight Virgil Hill for the light heavyweight title in May. Well, make it six straight for the COS Giants. Boxing ring tonight instead of on the hockey court. Is it oh, well, court? We, ha we have that. Uh, the least we Yeah, it's kind of fun to, to watch them uh, in the ring do their thing and come out successful like that. And it's a family deal, too, for them tonight. Holiday Inn Center Plaza was the site for a rare event, nationally televised boxing. The card featured two Fresno boxers. The main event saw our own Hector Lizarraga run his record to 13 in a row. With eight wins by knockout, here's Hector Lizarraga. Lizarraga. Hector Lizarraga taking on Pedro Mendoza. In the first round, Lizarraga delivers a shot to the ribs that sent Mendoza to the canvas. Then in the fifth round, Lizarraga hammers Mendoza in the corner. And after that, Mendoza said, no moss. And so Hector wins the featherweight bout with his eighth career knockout. I, I think in uh, three, four more fights, I'm going to be able, uh, able to fight for a world title. Not a, a top ten. I'm going to be able to fight for a world title. Well, Hector's brother, Frankie Lizarraga, made his pro debut tonight. But he learned some lessons and real fast. Watch Jose Onofre. Handshake there was fake, and he just clocked Lizarraga. But Frankie hung in there, and he dominated this bout. He came back to win by unanimous decision. That's his. Time winds down. Mendoza doesn't even put up a defense. And then in the fifth round, Mendoza was just literally helpless in the corner. Lizarraga wails away. He's got him pinned in that neutral corner, just battering him away. And when the bell rings to start round six, Mendoza says, that's enough. He throws in the talent. Hector Lizarraga wins his 13th fight in a row. Now, Thomas Hearns has won more title in his sights. He's won championships in five different divisions, and now he wants a sixth, the light heavyweight title. Tonight, he laced on the gloves in Los Angeles and fought in that division for the first time. He went up against Kemper Morton, who's a journeyman, out to see if he has the stuff to win the division. And from the looks of things here, he does knock Morton out in two. Next up, a fight with a champion, Virgil Hill, in May. 